Right. And I'm assuming I got somebody in my crane. I don't know if it's a protester or what. That's the 911 call about two anarchists who climbed and anchored themselves 144 feet in the air on a construction crane. Dozens of Atlanta's finest were forced to rescue them. So about 6 o'clock this morning, we got a 911 call. Uh, APD as well as Atlanta Fire responded out to two persons who had entangled themselves on a crane. From this APD video, you can see how special forces with both APD and fire rescue worked to extricate the two. They were protesting the building of the new Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. Like in similar stunts, they restrain themselves with a harness called a sleeping dragon, which locks your arms in a PVC pipe. Police Chief Darren Shearbaum says these two wasted valuable city resources. SWAT teams and cut teams, patrol officers, motorcycle officers were all here mitigating a publicity stunt. Two individuals that put themselves in jeopardy by going 144 feet off the ground and using two sleeping dragons to put them very unsafely in a position that we had to come and rescue them from. Take a look at this police body-worn camera footage as police and fire rescue work to free the protesters from the crane on the 600 block of 11th Street Northwest. Fire Rescue Chief Roderick Smith says because crews were at this construction stunt, it took resources away from other emergencies. So right around, right around the same time, we got a call to one of the local elementary schools where there was a carbon monoxide leak. Uh, one of the kids was complaining of being sick and dizzy and nauseated. And so we just don't know the extent of uh, the impact of that right now. What if an active shooter had hit any of our 245 neighborhoods or went to Atlanta Public School? and they asked for our help. What if we had a major accident on the expressway? Our response would have been impacted. The two faced multiple charges and were taken to the Fulton County Jail.